Hey everybody, it's Michelle here for Scrappy Chic and I wanted to take a break from some of the other demos and talk a little bit about Easter. Um, at the store we have this Viva Las Vegas stamp, this little bunny, it's a really cute little bunny. Um, and I created this card using um, Prismacolor markers and Gamsol, so I'm going to show you that technique and masking as well. Uh, in the background this is the um, Lawn Fawn Cloud Stencil, I'll show you that one as well. Um, all right, yeah, let's get started. So what I typically do is stamp my Im my first image onto, and this is the Nana um, paper that I typically use for coloring with my alcohol inks, so it works really well uh, for coloring with colored pencils and Gamsol. So I'll stamp my first image um, directly on the paper and I'm using archival ink. I use archival ink for everything. So we've got that image. And then what I did was I cut a couple of masks out of whoops, this masking paper here that is um, made by Ink a Dink a Do, and it's stamp masking paper. But you can use um, post its or I used to use dictionary page and just cut it out and set it on top of my image, but you'll just cover your image and it's best to cut it a little bit smaller, just a little bit smaller than the image. Okay, and then we'll stamp another little bunny over here. Okay, now that one doesn't have to be masked because I'm going to stamp my third bunny over on this side. And bunny number three. Okay, so what you get is none of the overlapping of the stamped images when you use the mask. Um, and then, yeah wasn't sticking a second ago now I can't get it off um, and then you just peel it off because it doesn't stick to the paper and voila you've got your images Oops, sorry stamp like that and no overlap okay so I'm um, very basic I mean I really only used the colors of the bunnies um, and my Gamsol is in this container right here which I really like because you can just push this down and the Gamsol comes right up and just there's a reservoir there. Um, Scrappy Sheet carries these and I'm also using these Fantastics. Um, they're brush tip, I'm gonna say that they're blending pencil. So this is foam and I have a container full of them that I just use and I just keep them in color family. So any red, I'll use the red, green, yellow, same. Um, thing. So I've got my brown ones pulled out because I did my bunnies all in brown. So this is a very technical technique. So what I do on this particular stamp is I just color with my colored pencil um, where the stamp looks like it would be darker. So where the fur is here and maybe along the edge like this on the foot. Uh, over here on his little bunny paws. In his ear. <laughs> okay. And then I just take and I dip it in the Gamsol and then I just blend, 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 blend. And it moves the color around keeping it a little darker where you put it. And you can see here. And I like that they're pointy so that you can get into the little spots, which is why I used a brush tip. Now it looks a little wet, so when the Gamsol dries, it'll look more like this image over here. Um, and then I just took some pink 
for his little bunny nose and inside of his ears inside of their ears here and inside of his ears too but i'm not going to color all three of them because i want to show you how i did the grass and the background um first i just took a green colored pencil and just scribbled some grass all along what would what i pictured to be a little hill that these little bunnies were standing on and really just literally not filling in at all but just scribbling and then what I did was I took a felt tip fine tip uh, marker and just did a little bit of kind of outlining of the grass so it gave it a little definition okay so that's how we did the grass. And I didn't do any blending, you certainly could. Um, but I cut, cut out, the, you'll wonder why I had these three masks. I cut out three bunny masks because you wanna cover them when you're doing your cloud background so that they don't turn blue. Although a blue bunny would be cute. We are going for brown bunnies here. And then this is the um, lawn fawn cloud making stencil you kind of use the four sides and go around so I'm just going to lay that there I use distressed oxide on this and tumbled glass I really like the way the color um, is for the clouds and then you just blend along the edge of the stencil just along the edge because you want to leave some white space and then you flip the stencil to the next side and do the same thing. Just blend little circles along the edge. And again, flip. Now, see, you can go over the bunnies because they've got the mask on them. So you won't get this blue ink on your bunnies. Oops, that one's not sticking very well. Get on there, you little bunny. <laughs> All right. And I'm going all the way down to the bottom of the page because I am picturing my bunnies on a hill. All right, and that is that for that. And then you just peel your masks off and you can use these over a couple of times as long as they'll stay sticky or sometimes if you just lay it on there, um, that works fine too. But I, I save them and use them a couple of times over. Um, and there you go, and there you have it. So that is a cute little Easter card. Um, I added a sentiment with the um, small talk occasions, the Tim Holtz ideology small talk occasions, and this says somebody loves, some bunny loves you. Um, and then this one will go on this card background here that I prepared as soon as I finish coloring the rest of my bunnies um, and add a sentiment. So, um, if you need any of these supplies, Scrappy Chic is shipping. You can email at info at scrappychiclavonia.com. And I hope that you enjoyed this little break in our, um, our regular just technique-based um, videos to have a little Easter card and still have some techniques. Oops, sorry for the shadow. Um, anyway... We'll have some more demos coming up um, and stay safe. Thanks.